Stand out with your words. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live, brought to you every day from Grants Pass, Oregon. Today, we're going to tell you more about how to stand out, how you can stand out, how your company can stand out, how you can stand out not just up against your competition, but within the minds of your most ideal customers that are out there and also how to stand out uh, really in your entire industry. How can you be a leader of your industry? How can you really stand out in those ways? And uh, one way to do it is with your words. So how do you go about doing that? So that a lot of your communication is gonna happen by words. You know, it's gonna at least start with words. So this video, has its own title. It has hashtags and a description and everything else that goes along with it. That Those are all words. And those words matter. <laughs> the order of those words matter. So studying a little bit of copywriting will help out a lot. What's copywriting? Copywriting is is the uh, basically the art and science of communicating via advertising. So any form of copywriting uh, that, that we're discussing is the idea of trying to get somebody to do something. <laughs> You're trying to tell somebody they need to buy this or they need to look into this or they need to um, you know, apply for this or that. And so that's what copywriting is. The more you can learn about copywriting, the better. There's some great books out there. I know I have a few books on copywriting. Let me see if I have any that are clearly visible. David Ogilvy was an amazing advertiser and a copywriter. He had a lot of great books. We'll go into those in the future, but this is, a, this is a great one. This is a real simple one, really small, and it's not one of those that you need to read front to back. This is Words That Sell. And what this is, is it is a simple, almost thesaurus for copywriters. For anybody that's looking to make something a little bit more interesting, you can you can flip through these pages and get to the area. Here's here's something on money making, and they've got a bunch of phrases that you would use in money making: top dollar, top salary, profit from, turn your blank into gold, uh, hot sellers. You, you know, it, it just talks about all the different things having to do with money making. Here's uh, let's get to another page here that might be a little bit different. When you're talking about something being comfortable, here's all the different descriptive words and phrases that you may not have thought of. Uh, cottony, fuzzy, furry, restful, placid, hospitable, uh, toasty, warm, cool as a summer breeze, uh, com get comfortable with. These are all phrases that are used over and over in advertising and there's a reason why. It's because they bring up pictures, they bring up feelings, and all you have to do is go through it and see what fits into what you're doing and maybe it will help you come up with ideas. Way to get past writer's block and so forth. Not only for like titles of videos, but like I said, that's that's like the smallest format. A title in a video, a title for a podcast, a description for a podcast or a video. Uh, but also when you're talking any form of long form writing, even to the point of just Emails, if you're sending out emails on a regular basis to a list, if you're doing any form of newsletter, whether it be electronic or paper newsletter, we'll talk about paper newsletters more in the future because there's a lot of interesting stuff regarding paper and you wouldn't think there would be, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, any form of ads, advertising, outright ab advertising that's being put out there, whether it's online or offline, all of those things contain words, and words are quite often the thing that will draw a person in. The only thing that, that draws a person in a little bit faster may be a picture. And as I say, a picture's worth a thousand words, but if you've got the right words, it can make a picture stand out even more. So it's all about thinking about your words a little bit more, or having somebody on your team that's handling your advertising, that understands the power of words. This is a great book, good one to have on your shelf. Words That Sell, Richard Bayen. Um, it's a classic, <laughs> I've heard it recommended by many people. If you're wondering how you can take some of these concepts like I'm talking about and be able to apply it to your business, go to uh, dreambizchat.com at dreambizchat.com. It's specifically for people in the self-reliance field. So if you have products and services, 
that help people to become more self-reliant. You're a decision maker at your company, meaning you're an owner or an executive at the company. Then you're going to want to go to dreambizchat.com and that's your chance to be able to talk to me directly. Normally a uh, chat with me uh, for an hour long would, would cost upwards of uh, 600 and above. Uh, but at dreambizchat.com, if you do qualify, you can get a free chat. And it's not a sales thing. You'll actually walk away with the beginnings of a dream business transformation. So that's something I promise that it only takes 60 minutes to able to uh, achieve at least a start with creating an outline, a plan of how to take your business from where it's at to where you want it to be. And all the steps that it's going to take to get there. Now, I know I look funny today. I've got a little bit of a black eye. This is it's just a side story. This is from uh, Poison Oak, I believe. Uh, and I've got it all over the side of my face. I've got it all over my arms. I'm not sure if you've seen. I've got calamine lotion all over them. It's important to recognize the elephants that are in the room, whether they're known or unknown, to be able to recognize uh, the, the things that may hold you back or may distract people. We're going to talk about that a little bit tomorrow, why it's okay to not be okay. We'll talk about that tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.